Hi friends, welcome on board for another project. This time I used this RP2040 Zero board. It is actually a family of the Raspberry Pi Pico board. However, it is smaller in size. To read the Bosch BMP2080 sensor data and show the temperature, pressure and altitude on this nice 3.2 inch TFT display. This one is the temperature this one is pressure and this one is altitude. The design is cute, isn't it? It is graphical. It is a graphical design. So as I said, it basically reads the sensor data and show the data on the TFT display. As usual, I designed the schematic and PCB for this project as well using Altium Designer and shared the PCB and schematic with my friends for their edits and feedbacks using the uh, Altium 365 Cloud Space. As you can see, you can power the unit using this USB Type-C cable uh, or this XH connector. This blinking LED shows the correct operation of the microcontroller. I mean, you can ensure that the microcontroller has not crashed or something like that. This yellow LED shows the uh, correct supply to the board. And here is the sensor. An important thing about this sensor is that this sensor is sensitive. You should put it away from your board, whatever board it is. So you have to connect using uh, some wires like this. If you put the sensor near the board, the temperature data shows some offset. Okay, that, that's the thing I have experienced and I see many people talk about this online. So that's the reason you have to put the sensor away from your board. In the next step, I will go through the schematic and PCB. And in the, in the last step, I will go through the code and explain the code. Just stay tuned. All right, here is the homepage of Altium Designer, because as I told you, I designed the schematic and PCB using this software. Uh, you have access to all of these nice tutorials as well in the homepage. However, I highly recommend you to not to use any cracked version of this software because all of them are buggy and they will infect your computer with viruses and trojans. So instead of that, why bother? Just follow this link in my YouTube video description and fill out a form. That allows you to download the latest version of the Altium and activate it with a free legal license that of course includes a subscription of the Altium 365. Anyway, let's go to the schematic. Here is the schematic diagram. As you see, the main component is the RP2040 board. And here is the PCB layout. I will come back to the PCB later on. As you know, with each project, I also publish an article and explain everything in details in the article. So just follow this link in my YouTube video description and read the article. Before I go to the PCB, I want to introduce this part number because I use this part number, this regulator and this project, and it's an interesting uh, component. So let's go to the Octo part and the part number was LD317 and uh, the version is 3.3 because it's a 3.3 volts regulator and this one is fine. A component from ST Microelectronics uh, company. Of course, there are other manufacturers. You are not bounded to use this, comp uh, this manufacturer. Here is the price in the Mauser for the quantity of 1, 10 and 100. So everything is in front of your eyes. Inventory history for the one year for the duration of one year. And here is the specifications of the components. It says the maximum output current is up to 1.3 amps, the maximum input voltage up to 15 volts, and the output voltage is 3.3 with the accuracy of 1%. All of the services of this website is free. Also, you can build a bill of materials using this website. So. Bookmark this and don't forget that. Let's go to the PCB. So as you see, it's a two layers PCB board. Here is the USB Type-C connector to deliver the power to the board. This one is the RP2040 Zero board. 
and this one is the LCD connector 40 pins the properties menu shows the board size information it says the horizontal size is around 5.6 centimeters and the vertical size is around 3.7 centimeters so it's a compact board let me show you the board in 3d here is the view in 3d if i press the shift button and the right click of the mouse you can rotate the board like this so the visual or or I mean the 3D view is a nice tool for visual inspection of your board the connection interface between the RP2040 zero board and the LCD is SPI and these two are the main SPI lines here because one of them is clock SDK and one of them is the master output line however because the frequency of the SPI here is lower than 40 megahertz and the distance between the LCD connector and the board is low I did not implement the length matching here and the board works perfectly the same thing happens here the frequency of the SPI here is low and the distance between the sensor and the board is low so the length matching is not mandatory as you see I have implemented two polygons for the top and bottom layer if I show you the board in the single layer mode here is the top polygon and here is the bottom polygon these two polygons are to reduce the length of the ground pass and stabilize the circuit because as much as you reduce the length of the ground pass of your circuit you enhance the performance of your PCB board for the same reason I place these wires in the critical areas especially near the decoupling capacitors such as this capacitor this capacitor this uh, near the decoupling capacitor after this RC filter because the these components are critical and the ground should be tight uh, I can say in simple word near these components the last thing that you see is one error here, one DRC error here. This is okay because why? The software thinks that these two pins should be connected together because both of them share identical net. Both of them says 3.3 volts pin. These two pins are connected internally inside the chip. So it doesn't matter you use this pin or this pin so the connection outside is not mandatory because as I said both of these pins are connected inside the chip so you can ignore this error it doesn't matter I think I covered most of the points let's go to the code alright as you see I have used the Arduino IDE to write the code for this wave share RP2040 zero board I have included the LVGL library here because I have used this library to create a graphical user interface for this project this library is quite interesting however the only concern is the flash size of the microcontroller that's why I'm interested in the Raspberry Pi Pico family boards because the minimum flash size of such a board is 2 megabytes and uh, it could be up to 16 megabytes the rest is the configuration of the ESPI library it's a library to communicate with the LCD through SPI and this function this tasks function updates the data on the LCD so I have enabled the second core of the microcontroller to call this function every half a second or 500 milliseconds also blinks the LED do you remember the LED on the board this code also blinks the LED here is the configuration of the I2C SDA and SCL pins the configuration of the LVGL and here I, I have configured the second core of the microcontroller you can see I have included several files here the most important one is this function setup SCR screen it's a function that includes all of the code related to the graphical user interface and I have called many 
styles function from the LVGL library. The most important point in such a coding is to call the style methods only once because if you call these styles continuously it just overflows the memory. So it calls all of these styles calls once and then I just update update the data of the elements. For example, I mean this uh, label. I update only the data of the label or the arc or the value of the arc. I mean the uh, arcs that shows the data or the progress bar. Okay, that shows the altitude. The rest is the configuration of the LVGL and I have used a font with the size of 30 to show the data on the screen. So I have I have to include this font also here because I use this font to font as I told you to show the data. The, so the tricky part of this project, I can say around 70% of this project, the difficulty is the coding. So did you like this project? I think it's quite interesting. Give me a big thumbs up. We will do something else in the next video.